I'm Melissa Anthony, reaching out from Lee Johnson Nissan, uh, shooting you a video of the F-150 that you're looking into online. As mentioned, I'm going to do my absolute best to point out every single little thing. So you're not going to hear a lot of highlights of good stuff about the truck. I'm all, mo mainly going to focus on the blemishes, the issues uh, that I can find uh, inside and out of the vehicle. So I'm going to get started because... Uh, I want to be efficient with your time and I'm going to start here so I'm going to start pointing stuff out here and you know you can see some of this stuff small uh, that's a little dent here and then there's like little touch up points um, that they kind of made it so that it's less obvious but that's one that's one that's one um, and there's going to be a few of them around the vehicle just because I kind of scoped it out but ahead of time couple little more dings there um, and these are like uh, chips rock chips or something like that um, one here um, and there again they're small little things like if you're just walking around the vehicle you probably wouldn't notice unless you get up in close there's more along here um, so there there and there another one there um, and then along the front, if you can see the chrome here, it's kind of bubbled a bit. Uh, it's not a chrome finish, I should say. Um, and more just along here, and some of it's a little bit more obvious than others. A little bit more there, 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 there. Um, hopefully that all makes sense there. Um, so this is bubbling a little bit, and I don't know if it just comes from again maybe a rock chip hitting or something like that there is more on the hood as far as rock chips are concerned but these are like i mean that's my fingernail uh it they're very small but uh they're they are there um for the most part that's what you're gonna see kind of around the front um more of that there just above the light again these are all pretty small um, and looking at the two front wheels and tires, um, those, I don't see any, like, um, curb rash or anything like that on either the front. Uh, tire tread looks real good as well. Um, that's that. And then we're going to start to come around the side here. Might be some weird angles. I apologize ahead of time. Uh, something big I noticed. So these step rails... On this side this is the absolute most significant thing on this whole thing this is bent and damaged like it should look like that over there but it looks like this over here so that's the absolute biggest thing I saw on this entire vehicle everything else is like the little nitpicky like I mean see again fingernail it's pretty small I don't know how often you're going to be kneeled down like I am, uh, but that is the biggest thing I noticed uh, between the inside and outside. I'm going to keep going around. There's a ding there. Uh, this is the passenger side rear door. And again, more little chips, small stuff here, here, and here. Uh, rear tire passenger side looks good uh, I did want to point out inside I don't know how big of a deal some of this stuff is so I'm just gonna say it and then let you decide come on focus in along here it looks like they use the truck bed to stop it focus in um, there's some damage to the drop-in bed liner it's plastic so you know if you use stuff in here you're gonna get some damages here um, that's a a decent size it's not huge but it's maybe the size of the end of a two by four um that's probably what did it um back end actually looked fairly clean i don't think i was really seeing much back here again sorry for the weird angle i'm just re-looking a second time to hitch down there that looks, it, back here looks pretty good. I, I'm not seeing too much to talk about there. Most of the time, the, all the little rock chips and stuff, that's going to happen in the front, right? So 
um, the biggest thing you're probably gonna see is in the truck that truck bed uh, back here and then now coming around the driver's side rear um, you know there's a little small fine scratch that and my fingernail doesn't go in there so th you know that's stuff that could potentially buff out for you um, but this one's a bit longer so let me give you an idea that goes here and this my fingernail I can, I can feel the ridge in there so that's not gonna buff out um, there is you know the plastic on top so there's a little bit of uh, spots that's gnarled but nothing too crazy I didn't think I pointed this one out so let's go back over here that there as well uh, last wheel that one looks good as well tires look like they got great tread on them another little rock chip there so again very small very small a little bit of scratch in there but it's it's pretty fine stuff um, inside look so it looks like there's some wear um, on the vehicle it's a 2014 so you know you're gonna get a little bit of that um, this is kind of pushed out I guess that other one is too. Maybe that's just how it's designed. Some of them kind of stay close like that, but this one pops out. I don't know if that's going to be something that bothers you or not, but uh, I don't know if this comes up on the camera, but it looks like this seat does have some discoloring like here. Um, maybe kids. And then there. It just looks like there's some staining. It's not terrible but it's noticeable and even like on the seat belts you can see some of that too so there might have been little ones that came back here um i was trying to see if i see any cheerios or anything uh i don't see any there nice little thing hooks for grocery bags pop this up put those on there I can put that back down so that's a nice little thing so I do see some of that uh, in the back and when you get like a lighter color gray like this you're gonna you're gonna notice more of that stuff and so like you know here there's this I don't know what to call that but I guess a stain um, you can kind of see a little bit in there as well um, and then one of the things that I was noticing when I was looking through is just you can see some wear on the steering wheel and then like where somebody puts in the keys I was seeing a bunch of you know scratching and stuff like that there but nothing too crazy in here if you look at the dash over there um, that has some scratching on it as well some staining on the passenger seat some wear in there as well and then just like driver's door just getting in and out and scuffing the stuff up a little bit so I'm, I'm gonna say that it is a well-used truck it's not in bad shape um, I would consider most of this cosmetic but I want you to know about it ahead of time. I said five minutes, I'm getting closer to 10. So that is, for the most part, what you're gonna see with it. Um, I tried to be as nitpicky as possible. I'm not guaranteeing that I didn't miss some little thing here or there, but definitely the big stuff is in the in the uh, picture. Uh, it's always nice when a loud truck goes by because it makes it easy for you to hear everything I'm saying. Based on the name, I'm Anthony Lee Johnson Nissan. I'm gonna send this over to you and we'll go from there. Thanks.